Hey, 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 this is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated. I am known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert, where I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and you got it. Get your dreams out of your head into your life. Good evening, Calandra. Thank you so much for joining. Uh, <clears throat> Super excited for you to be here on tonight. We're going to um, we're going to get this party started. Not going to be on here long with you. Just wanted to come in and share just a little bit. Um, the question that I have for you tonight is: When should you pivot? When should you? pivot good evening uh dorothy thank you so much for joining super excited to have you here um if you um would when you come on just let us know where you're tuning in from invite someone and go ahead and hit the share button go ahead and hit the share button good evening belinda thank you so much for joining go ahead and hit the share button invite someone and let us know where you're tuning in from I am so grateful. And again, if you're new to me, uh, good evening, uh, Pastor Dana, Donahue. Thank you so much for joining. The question is, when should you pivot? When should you pivot? When is it that you need to stop doing the thing that you are doing? When is it that you need to go in a different direction and try something new? Right? And when you think about when you think about the things that we're doing, is I mean you either it's really two ways to think about it, or you know we can kind of look at it on a couple of different sides. It is either you like it or you don't like it. It's either you're doing it. Good evening, Shanti and Christopher. Thank you so much for joining. We have Louisiana in the house. We have Tennessee in the house. We have Arkansas in the house. Thank you all so much for joining. When you think about the thing. Or the things that you are doing, you can look at it two ways. It's either you you like it or you don't like it. It's either working for you or working against you. It's either, you know, it's, it's either happening or it's not happening. So we have to think about, it's not a kind of sort of, it's kind of sort of working. You know, you got to think about the thing is either working or not working. So you have to ask the question, when do I stop doing the thing? that is not taking me to the next level. When do I stop doing the thing that is not taking me to the next level, right? When do I stop doing the things that is not taking me closer to where I want to go? And so I want you to be mindful of the things that you do every day. And if the things you're doing every day is not taking you closer to where you're trying to go, stop doing them. You have to stop doing the things that are not taking you closer to the to, to the place that you want to go. Because I'm not going to say finish line, but we do complete goals. We do meet goals and we do make it to destinations. But we're never at a place that we're going to stay there. We have not, uh, you know, we haven't made it to a place where we figure when I get there, that's all I'm going to do. So I want you to evaluate your life and the things that you're doing every day. And just ask yourself the question, am I where I want to be? Am I doing the things? And I mean, this is a self-evaluation for you to ask yourself, am I doing the things that I desire to do? Am I really happy in life? And I'm not talking about this on the surface happy because, you know, we, we say, I'm happy. Yeah, I'm good. I'm good. No. Are you happy with the person that you have become? Are you happy with um, the life that you are living? Are you happy with the life that you would leave if you left today? Are you happy about the name that you have made for yourself? Are you happy about the things that will be said when you are no longer around? So I want you to really think a little bit deeper. It's not, a just, it's not just about happy with a smile on your face. Good evening, princess. Thank you so much for joining. It's not just about being happy with a smile on your face. You want to ask yourself, am I happy and pleased with the person that I have become? So I want you 
when is it time for you to pivot? When is it time for you to pivot and shift some things? Change some things. You know, redo some things. Stop doing some things to add some things. You have to ask yourself, when is it time for me to stop playing small? When is it time for me to take the big leap, right? When is it time for me to make the decision, right? And I don't know what that is for you. And I don't know what you have continuously to do. I don't know what you have been continuously doing over and over again to have, you know, the same results. You know how sometimes we can, we can travel the same path. And most of the time we'll see the same things. But we have to start asking ourselves, when is it time for me to pivot? When will be a good time for me, you know, to pivot and do something different? For me to, you know, just, you know, surrender all and say, I'm going to lay down all the stuff that I thought I knew. Because the things that we think we know that's not taking us nowhere, you know, it's almost like you know how you think you know how to go to a certain place. But as you begin to head in the direction to get there, you find yourself in circles. You know how sometimes your GPS will just keep on taking you into places not, not that's not getting you to where you want to go. It just keep taking you into places, keep taking you into places, and keep taking you. It just keeps saying that it's recalculating, right? Especially in an area where they're doing construction. Um, where there's a lot of detours and, you know, there's been some street name change, uh, some street um, names, um, some some names to some streets that has been changed, you know, since the last update. And so it's just recalculating. And sometimes you can be really close to where you're trying to be and you will find yourself driving in an area away from the, th the place where you were supposed to be because it's recalculating, right? So I want you to think about this in real life. I want you to think about the thing that you may be close to, but you're recalculating because, one, you may be self-sabotaging yourself. Two, you may be talking yourself out of it. Three, you're telling yourself you can't afford the thing. You don't have time for the thing. You don't know how to do the thing. But when you think about it, it's really not about the time. It's really not about the money. It's really not about the wisdom, the knowledge, and the understanding because all of those things can be, they can be worked with. They can be worked on. When you think about, think about this. When we say we don't have a mo the money for a thing, think about the things that you have and the way that you got them. When we say we don't have time to do a thing, think about the things that you waste time on. And when we say we don't know a thing, ask yourself, have you taken the time to try to learn it? Because see, even if it's a thing of it, if, if, if it happened to be a thing that exists, that means it got to be something out there about it. Somebody knows something about it. Have we did everything that we can do to learn what the thing is, to learn about the thing? Or do we just say, I don't know how to do it. I don't know how to do it. I can't afford to do it. And I don't have time to do it. You know, that's the, our favorite thing. That's that's like our default. When 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 this that's like the default. Good good evening, brother Warren. Thank you so much for joining. It's like we have a default response. I don't know. I can't do it. I don't I can't afford it. And I don't have time. We said that we're so busy, we're busy, we're busy, we're busy. But let me ask you something. Are the things that you're doing taking you closer to where you really want to be? Not where you think you have to be. Not what you think somebody else think you should be. Are the things you doing taking you closer to where you really want to be? Where you're doing the things that you really want to do. If you just take off the expectations of everybody else, the opinions of everybody else, how they feel and what they think that you should be doing, and you just say, I'm going to live my life because this is my life and this is what I want to do. You're living in uncomfortable skin trying to please everybody and do the things that they desire for you to do. But when you say, am I doing the things that I really desire? Think about it. And as we get ready to close, because we're not going to be on here long, ask yourself, is it time for me to pivot? Is it time for a change? Is it time for me to do something different? 
And I will caution you because a lot of people are afraid of change. They're used to clinging on to, this is the way I've always done it. This is the way it's always been done. And we have a problem with change. But I want you to know that sometimes change is good. Sometimes it requires a change. It requires a change in the environment. It requires a change in your thinking. It requires a change in your habits. It requires a change in your routine. You have to do something different in order to get something different. So as we're getting ready to close on tonight, I am just grateful for you. And I hope that you're really thinking about where you are. What are you doing? What's your next move? You should know what is your next move. Don't wait until you don't have an option to have to you don't have an option to make a choice. Where now you feel like you got a default to say, well, I don't have a choice and this is the only thing that I can do because of. You have to the, the the best time to make a decision is when you got a choice. You got a choice to do it or don't do it because you have options. Don't be where you are optionless and you only have one way to do a thing. That you should be reminded that we are given choices. We're given choices. We're given choices. And so I want you to take advantage of the choice that you have to live the life that you desire. Get your dreams out of your head. Get your vision off your board and live it. Live it. Live your life. Live your life. So ask yourself, is it time to pivot? Is it time to make a change? Is it time to do something different? Is it time for me to make some new connections? Is it time for me to make a reconnection? Because I'm going to tell you something. Some of you all... You um, you quit prematurely. You disconnect prematurely. You know when you when you disconnect prematurely, you get, sometimes sometimes when a thing is birthed too soon, prematurely. I mean, we can think about a baby. Um, the babies have to be in the incubators and. Um, a lot of times they're not breathing on their own. There are so many things that go with a baby that was that is born before the full term, right? So think about your business and think about your life and think about your relationships and think about your, uh, just think about you. Where is it that you are premature in an area and you're trying to breathe on your own? When you don't have the strength, you don't have the wisdom, you don't have the knowledge, and you don't have the support. But when you have somebody that will, you cut it off too soon because you are afraid of what the outcome will be. Some of us are afraid to pivot out of the things that we're familiar with because we are afraid of success. Sometimes we can be afraid of success and find ourselves in this circle of motion because we figure, okay, what we have a whole nother set of problems when we succeed. And now you're thinking, okay, if I grow too big, I won't be able to do this by myself. But you got to think on another scale and say, when I grow bigger, and even while I'm still small, hire somebody that can do what I can do. You have to be available for scalability. Because if you are not available for scalability and planning before you need it, you're going to be in a situation. Because see, some of us, some people don't have the capacity to blow up overnight. Did you hear me? Some people do not have the capacity to blow up overnight because if you have a flood of things that need to be produced or if you have a flood of customers or clients or if you have a, a business and you're not prepared to be scale up, if you're not prepared to scale, guess what? It's just like not getting it because you cannot fulfill your orders. Guess what? You don't, you, you have not thought past where you are. This is for free. I'm, I'm dropping this for free. You got to start thinking. You, you got to start operating in where you want to be. And that's where the faith come in. I know it's a little fearful. But you have to say that you, you, you know that there needs to be more than you. Right now, my company is running on a team of three. 
well for with myself. I've had one member for, um, it's been five years now that I've had a um, executive virtual assistant. I have um, a graphics team as well as a um, my uh, technology manager that, you know, take care of the, the lives and move them over to the YouTube channel and all these things. But, I mean, without those individuals, I couldn't do the things that I do. But a lot of times we don't want to invest in ourselves. We cannot be in business and don't think that we need to invest in our business. It don't work like that. It doesn't work like that. So I want you to be very mindful of what you want. When is it that you need to pivot? What is it that you need to do? Who is it that you need to connect with? And stop sitting on the fence because you are afraid to make a move. Getting ready to get out of here. Look, if you're new to me, this is your girl, Coach O, founder and CEO of Action Speaks Volume Incorporated. I am known as your procrastination strategist, behavior change expert. I help you to build unshakable confidence, stop procrastinating, and to get your dreams out of your head into your life. I hope you are going to join our BBB challenge. Well, we got to balance, baby. We got to balance our body and our business. Come on. You have to register. You do have to register. It's going to be from February the 8th, February, February the 8th through February the 12th. Get registered. All you need is your name, first and last name, email. That's all it takes. We'll be sending out um, email messages um, as, as we get closer to that time. Super excited. It'll only be for 30 minutes. We're going to get our body moving. We're going to talk about our business, and we're going to talk about that bank account, right? All in 30 minutes. It'll be mixed up, you know, um, uh, waiting on downloads from on high. But it will be the body, the bank account, baby, and the business. And you don't even have to have a business, the business that you want to have. So this is for everybody. This is for men and women. Come, register, be prepared. Let's do the thing. So I hope you all have a great night. Super excited. And I'm looking forward to it. I want to register. I will drop the link. I will drop the link. Thank you so much, Belinda. I will drop the link right at the, as soon as I get off of here. I will drop the flyer and the link. And if you will share the link and the flyer um, with your community, that will be great. So I'll drop it as soon as we get off of here. The link will be at the bottom of this video. I hope you all have a great night. Talk to you later. Bye.